Okay, Google. Play Classic FM. Streaming Classic FM from Global Player. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I thought today I'd do for you a day in my life, sort of what does an average day working as a Chartered Town Planner look like? Because I get asked this question so much, both on my YouTube and over on my Instagram page. And if you want sort of like a more, I was going to say a more detailed depiction of what I get up to in everyday life. But to be honest, I kind of just <laughs> whinge about things and post about what I'm doing at the gym. But if you want to see that, then go on over to my Instagram. I, I just, I do, I do put some interesting stuff on there, or I'd like to think so anyway. Anyway, but that's not the point. Today's video, um, let's get set up while we're talking. Um, so it is Wednesday. Um, it is only the second week in my new job. I need to caveat that. So this isn't what I would anticipate a usual day in my life is going to look like, but when i sort of gave the company my start date my manager actually said to me oh i'm actually on leave the first two weeks that you're there and i sort of thought all right okay and he said oh it's you know it will be fine we'll sort of work it out um i didn't want to take any more time off i couldn't really afford to take any more time off and i thought you know what my manager not being there that's going to really ease me in quite nicely into things and um, I'll have a really sort of gentle first couple of weeks. Oh honey, how wrong was I? So it's August and not only is my manager off, the head of department is on leave and there's lots of other more junior staff who are on leave. And so <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not having an easy, easy introduction. I'm picking up the slack from half of the team um trying to get to grips with cases i obviously have no prior knowledge about whatsoever but it's all good fun so and it's really interesting and you know it's keeping me occupied so what we're going to do now is i'm going to log on when my laptop loads up it's so high tech and secure here so i have to use this code from my phone to log on okay so while that's loading up i'll just have a little look through my to-do list um, so I don't have any client meetings today, which is why I'm dressed casually. So my firm operates a dress for your day policy. So yesterday I had a pre-app, so I wore, wore a shirt, even though it was all remote. So I've not been into the office yet, but I'm going in tomorrow, my first day in the office. Because like I say, so many of the senior partners and, and people are, are on annual leave at the moment. Um, but it's also, it's quite nice being at home because A... I now work in sort of central London, which means I have to get a different train, so it's way more expensive. Well, I was working in the city before, you don't get much more central than that, but I'm working in Soho now, so I have to get a more expensive train, and I am going to have to be there at like 8.39. <laughs> I had very much sort of settled into rocking up at 10 and not really, um, oh, why isn't it connecting? But yeah, so I um, haven't been in yet. But it's fine because it's actually meant that it hasn't felt too weird sort of starting the new job. It's all been very much kind of like, ah, I logged on. Um, like my old job in that um, I'm just sort of sat in my spare bedroom doing planning work. So it's fine. But yeah, I'm going into the office for the first time tomorrow. So I am painting my nails today you've seen one of my earlier videos I told you that one of my biggest tips for doing the APC is to paint your nails when you've got a big bout of typing to do because they dry really really quickly uh yes so going into the office tomorrow so I will dress smarter but yeah I've got no client meetings today so I can just wear chill clothes what my priority for today this morning is why I'm going to paint my nails I'm writing up a supporting statement for a pre-app. Um, so I want to get that finished this morning, ideally. I don't think it'll take me too long. I think it's going to be a couple of hours, but um, we'll see. And then from there, I need to have a catch up with one of the guys who's been on leave for the last couple of days. And I've just sort of been 
managing his key client, just sort of keeping them at arm's length with all the questions. I've sort of, I've been answering them in so much as their general planning queries. Um, but to, I've been sort of saying, oh, we'll discuss in detail when Dan's back from leave and he gets back today. So I need to have a, a good catch up with him about this particular client. They've got a few cases with us at the moment and they're, they're very big, important clients for the, for the team. So I didn't want to mess that up. Felt the way being responsible for them already after ending a week here. But like I say, it's, it's just that time of year, isn't it? So yeah, I need to have a catch up with Dan when he's sort of on top of his emails. And I've got to summarise some policy documents for one of the senior partners. Um, I've got to summarise a major development that's going on in quite close proximity to one of my clients' developments, send over the relevant information and send over information about um, environmental impact assessment so EIA is a really big deal in, in planning if you're doing a big big development um, most likely you'll have to go for EIA screening I won't sort of talk you through all of the all of the ins and outs of it but EIA is, is big and important and we need to tell the client today that they need to do EIA so that'll be that'll be one part oh actually would I have to no I'll, I'll ring them I don't have to go on video <laughs> Yeah, and then just got a couple of other little queries that have come in. So I'm hoping to get through most of this list today so that tomorrow when I go into the office, I can be a little bit more chilled with my time and <clears throat> just sort of wander around, get to know the place, meet people. We're going out for a team lunch tomorrow and then fingers crossed finish either on time or maybe even a little bit early because I'm going to the proms tomorrow night. So... It'd be nice just to go and get some food or go for a little drink before we go. My mum's coming down to meet for that. And I think Tom's going to come after he finishes work. We're all going to go go to the proms. So that'll be really nice. So yeah, plan for today is <clears throat> head down, get on with work so that tomorrow can be a little bit more chilled. So yeah, come along with me. <laughs> So it's now just before 10. Um, I'm just gonna take five minutes, I think. I finished my coffee, so I'm gonna go brush my teeth, because I always have my coffee first and then brush my teeth. Um, yeah, go walk around, shake the legs out a little bit. I've sort of gotten my first couple of points down that I wanna make. And then, I've, yeah, I've got a little bit more to do on this, I think. And then, yeah, just keep going. Like I say, the aim is to get this done this morning and then we'll sort of take it from there. But it's not nearly as nice out as I thought it was going to be today. I might have to put a jumper on. And not only that, because I didn't realise how creased this t-shirt was, but, you know, it's just me at home. Don't really need to do the ironing for that purpose, but I'm a bit chilly, so I might put a jumper on. You don't really care about that. I'm going to go brush my teeth, have a little walk around, and then get back to it. Oh, right, been to the bathroom, brushed my teeth, had a little walk around, had a complete outfit change. Um, so I had a nice little 10 minute break and now I'm gonna go back to, oh, what a great piece of music. Um, go back to finishing this pre-app document. I say, I'm picking up on quite a lot of work that sort of fallen by the wayside whilst people are on leave so I don't really know the site at all so actually quite a lot of what I'm doing is going back through the file um looking at previous correspondence looking at all the documents that the clients have submitted I might give the client a ring actually in a little bit and just sort of say hi and picking up this on behalf of your usual contact while he's on leave um if there anything you think I need to know can you just talk me through it um, make sure I've not missed anything. So what a pre-app is, it is a pre-application service. So I submit my documents to the council 
and then we have a meeting and then they provide a written response. Now what you get out of a pre-app is what you put in. So if you put in really detailed drawings and documents and supporting statements, you'll get quite a lot of information back from the council. Um, whereas if you just throw in a site plan and a little note just sort of saying, oh, so I want to do this, you're not really going to get a lot from them because they don't have a lot to work with. So yeah, that's what I'm doing is just making sure that everything's in place. I haven't missed anything. I'm referring to the right policy documents and policies specifically in this saying, well, as per policy X, the, the development would enhance the surrounding area. It's in keeping with the character of the area as a largely residential area. Um, yeah, just sort of all of that good stuff. I'm waffling a lot just so that I don't have to do this. But I'm basically saying it out loud. So I should write it down and just get it done and get it sent off to the senior partner. Catch up with you in a bit. Uh, so it ha it's about quarter past 11. Um, I've got the bulk of my report done. I just sort of like need to go back through and sense check it against. Um, the actual policies and against the template that the senior sent me and then I can get that sent over but I forgot that I have a meeting at 12 just like an internal thing um, so I am making some porridge and a cup of tea I'm really enjoying this whole eating later thing actually it's sort of like part of the intermittent fasting I'm doing and it gives me so much more energy not to constantly be digesting food and I'm eating a lot less as well because I've realised that the body just doesn't need that much food. Especially, I just sit at my desk all day. Like, I don't need a belly full of food to be doing that. It just makes me really sleepy. Um, so I'm just going to have some porridge and some fruit. And I have that at my desk with my cup of tea while I sense check everything. And then hopefully get it sent over to my senior before our midday meeting. And then... From there, I think I might go for a little walk. I haven't been out much this week. Um, and then crack on with the rest of the stuff this afternoon. So yes, so far, good day, good day. Oh, and once we get to midday, we're over the hump of the week. Woo! Why does everything take longer than you think it's going to take? I don't know. I think it's to do with life. To go and answer the door to the postman that needed the loo then I had to wash up my bowl what well, there's five ten minutes gone I suppose but it's 10 to 12 now and I've not finished this and my, my senior has just emailed me and said mm, really need this by close of business today and I'm now kind of like oh I've got a meeting for the next hour and a half so there goes my walk after it oh well This is wasting more time as talking to you as well. I just need to crack up. I mean, it's not even that hard. I'm now at the stage where I'm just sense checking my work against the relevant policies and making sure that it's all all correct and all fine to go off to the client. But I think I'm just sort of really suffering from working from home fatigue. <laughs> it's only been a week and a half. I'm just I'm tired and I want some human interaction. So... That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Finished! Only took me. Well, I put it down for like five hours. Oh dear. Oh well, it's done. And that was what needed to be done today. So I'm happy. Still got more bits to do, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to have some food because it's half the stew. <laughs> Um, and I'm quite hungry, so I'm gonna have a little bit of food. And Tom's due back from work at three, and I think he's going up running with his friend. And I think his friend needs me to puppy sit while they're out doing their run. So I think I'm gonna wait till he gets home to hear what's going on, and then I'll go out for my little walk and take the dog out with me. Just get out, get a bit of fresh air, and then get back to him. But yeah, oh, I'm so glad that's done. I feel like it went really well, actually. Like, by the time I got into the swinger thing, I was making really good arguments. And I was like, yeah, it's definitely compliant with this policy. Let's just skate over this stuff. But it's compliant with this one. And on the balance of merit, that's more important, isn't it? 
I work at a law firm, don't you know? <coughs> you know, I think I am. As hope, I have got the dog with me. Come on now, what are we doing? We're having a good old sniff or something, aren't we? To finish off the rest of my video like the rest of my day on Wednesday it's now Friday <laughs> um yeah I'm not very good at this am I um as you can see the spare bedroom's a bit of a mess because my mum is currently staying with me um she's just gone out for a little sea swim this morning while I'm um just doing some work but I was in the office yesterday and then I met up with mum and we went to the proms which is really really lovely but yeah Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday I don't even know what day it is I just sort of what did I do in the afternoon oh I know what I was doing I was looking into a project so my manager is on leave at the moment and he has a site meeting on Tuesday so I'm prepping for his meeting for him so I'm gathering the policy document context checking any site allocations checking neighboring approved permissions recently so that's what I was working on on Wednesday afternoon just to sort of finish off the day and today I am looking at some appeal stuff in an area where my colleague has got a public inquiry coming up so just doing a little bit of research around that and then I still have a load of new starters of like e-learning training things to do you know the standard GDPR and all that kind of good stuff um so quite a quiet day hopefully because I'm pretty tired such a long day yesterday got back quite late but it was just so nice to be in town, go to the office, meet everyone, and then go to the proms after. So, yeah, it was really lovely. But, yeah, I'm yawning now. I, shall, I haven't finished my coffee. So, yeah, I'm going to sign off here, and I'm going to try and do another one of these one day, and I will actually do what I do in the day and not have to come back to it two days later. Um, but I hope you have all had... A lovely day, week, whatever, and I will catch up with you next time.